Eight awesome facts about satellite you didn't know about. How far do you think we have come forward in technology or space technology to be precise? I would agree we still have a long way to go and have achieved very less. Imagine an artificial body revolving around the earth or any other planet in a fixed orbit playing some amazing role in our lives. You might know some amazing facts about satellites, but here are some that you might not know about. Number 1. How many satellites are up there? As per recent reports, there are about 1,265 active satellites orbiting the Earth, and there are further 2,600 satellites that are not active, also called space junk. Number 2. Who owns these satellites? Most of the satellites orbiting the Earth today are government companies. Countrywise, the United States tops the charts by having 528 satellites. Russia and China are next with around 130 active satellites apiece. Of the 528 American satellites, 18 are civil purpose, 229 are commercial, 160 are for the military, and 121 belong to the government. Number 3. With so many satellites, how do they avoid crash? These thousands of satellites orbiting around the Earth may seem like a huge number, but space is very big, even bigger than what you can imagine. Secondly, they always have lots of room for themselves for maneuvering, usually around hundreds of miles. However, these satellites have thrusters that help to stay in the line of orbit and avoid collision-like scenarios. Number 4. Has there been collisions before? Yes, there have been collisions before, and the most worrying part about collisions is the amount of debris they produce. An anti-satellite test conducted by China in 2007 created more than 100,000 pieces of space debris, all of which have to be carefully monitored to avoid any mishaps. Number 5. How fast do these satellites travel? Since gravity is the vital force behind attraction and the orbit speed, farther the satellite orbit is from Earth, slower the orbiting speed will be. Satellites in LEO move at a minimum of about 17,000 miles per hour, which prevents them from being thrown back into the atmosphere. The International Space Station, ISS, is amongst one of them. The other orbit is geosynchronous orbit, which provides orbiting zones for communication satellites. Their speed is around 7,000 miles per hour. Number 6. How much does a satellite cost? Satellites come in a wide range of prices, none of which you can afford. A small nano satellite could cost you around 50 to 150 million US dollars, while the ISS has cost around 150 billion US dollars, which includes development, launch, and maintenance. Number 7. How big are these satellites? Like its cost, the size of these satellites vary a lot too. The ISS is about the size of a football field. By contrast, there is a nano satellite which is only 7.8 inches across and weighs 15.4 pounds. Number 8. What happens when a satellite falls back to the Earth? This is a question that troubles the most of us. What if the satellite falling back on Earth hits my roof or my head? Well, for starters, scientists can very accurately predict the latitude at which it is going to fall off. However, once it enters the Earth's atmosphere, it burns off and gets scattered over a large distance. Now, simple mathematics can prove 
that the chances of debris hitting the land is approximately 30%. So don't stress yourself out of getting hit on the head. Thank you for watching Ton Unknown. Do you have an idea for a future top 10? Leave a comment below. Who knows? You may just see your idea in an upcoming list. And always, if you loved our list, smash that like button and subscribe for new videos every day.